Hi there, Aries. Welcome back. Okay. This is going to be for Aries. So if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this is for you. This is a general reading, so do take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for somebody else. Spirit, tell me more about Aries, please. Remember, guys, there's no timestamp on this reading. Whenever you find this message and it resonates with you, then it was meant for you. Spirit, please tell me some more about what is going on in Aries' energy. What should Aries be aware of here? All right, Aries. Somebody here might be a reader. Okay. I'm picking up on somebody who might be a reader. You might feel like you're missing out on something or you might feel like things ain't just things are not working out the way that you planned, okay? Maybe it might have something to do with your your reading, or it could be something else, right? Uh, it looks like there's something going on around your energy. Um, I'm not necessarily saying you, you are a reader professionally, okay? I'm just saying that you are somebody who enjoys reading, right? You read tarot, okay? So either you read tarot or maybe you do do it, uh, you know, professionally. Tell me more about this. You might feel like you're taking a risk, Aries. Or you might be feeling like you're taking a risk listening to a tarot reader about cutting somebody out of your life. An imbalance. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So it might be something about an imbalance in your life. Uh, maybe this tarot, okay, maybe you went to a tarot reader, right? But, or maybe both. I mean, I've gotten readings done and I'm a reader, so yes. You might feel undecided about this. Maybe this tarot reader you went to, okay, it looks like this tarot reader gave you some kind of advice and you're like, hmm. You're undecided about whether to take it or not, you know, that kind of thing. Like, should you even listen to what they said? You know, they might, there's something that they said might be like way off. Like you're feeling like, oh, you know, that doesn't sound like me. It just doesn't sound like my reading. Um, you know, there's, there might be something going on like that. Like you just, you just feel like, you know, something's wrong with this reading or something like that. Right. Okay. So let's, let's keep going. Spirit, can we get some more information for Aries? So wish Aries, what I'm seeing here is you're worried about something here. Okay. Definitely there, there's 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 like a new beginning that you want to start, right? But then at the same time, you're excited, you're you're ready to try something different, you're ready to take this person's advice, right? You're ready to do something here. You're you feel like, you know, you're very passionate about this. You're going to have a new start or a new adventure, this new project. But at the same time, it's like you're you're having all these um, changes going on, right? Like, like you're changing, something's changing. And then, but at the same time, you're worried, like, where is it leading you to, right? You're stressed out because where is it taking you? What, why are you going in this direction, right? Uh, I feel like it has something to do with what that reader told you, you know? You're wondering, like, you know, what's going to happen next, right? Now, there, there's a good reason for this. It might be because of the financial part of this, right? Um, something that this reader told you might be something that is going to cost you money or make you lose money, or you might have a fear of it causing, you know, causing you to lose money, something like that, right? It might also have something to do with something that you're writing, okay? What I'm seeing here, Aries, is you have nothing to be worried about, okay? Something that this reader told you 
is good advice. This person told you right. Okay, from what I'm what I can tell, they told you right. You might feel, you know, like this is something new, you know. Um, you know, it might be something that you need to prioritize in your life here. But what I'm seeing here is they told you right. Okay. You might have uh, some kind of knowledge here and you're feeling like it doesn't make sense, but it will when things are over. Okay. Sometimes when we hear um Especially if this reader was telling you something about the future, because that's what I'm getting. Like this reader told you something about the future. So you might feel like, oh, you know, that don't sound right. I'm going to oh, you know what this reminds me of? I'm going to share a story with you. When I was 17, um, one of my patients, her name was Mildred. She's, she's actually the one that got me into tarot. Uh, she did a reading, right? And she told me. Because I was asking her, you know, like about the future and stuff. I was just curious. A lot of things that she told me has already come to pass. I mean, we're, we're talking like, <laughs> I don't want to see how many years ago or, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's been a while, right? But uh, a lot of things that she told me, she was spot on. And she, one of the things that she told me was that I was going to have dogs. I kind of looked at her like, really? I'm going to have dogs? Um. Uh, I had dogs when I was little. Don't get me wrong. I did have dogs when I was little. But um, I honestly don't know where it came from. Well, I kind of do. I don't want to get into where it came from. But I, I had a long time, a long period in my life where I was scared of dogs. You know, all the way up into my, uh, my 30s. I was scared of dogs. And this started, um, I honestly don't know when it started. I'm thinking like, 13, 14, maybe 15, something like that. Uh, I had a fear of dogs. Now, when I was 18, I did go ahead and buy a small dog. I'm talking about a really tiny one. And um, I bought her because I was walking to the store and something told me to buy her, right? And it wasn't just something told me to buy her. I actually, I fell in love with her. I was passing by and I just absolutely fell in love with that puppy and so i bought her and uh this is after the reading okay so remember this guys this is this is when i was 18 okay and uh, i bought i bought the little dog and even though i still had uh, a fear of dogs i wasn't afraid of her okay and uh of course you know she passed and everything i just had her um now, fast forward until I was, uh, I want to say 32. Yeah, I think I was 32. I went on and got another dog, okay? All these years later, I still have a fear of dogs, right? I think I was like 32, 33, something like that. I went on and got a dog. And uh, I, I still had a fear of dogs. Even though I raised a dog, I still had a fear of dogs. This is why when she told me that later on in my life I was going to have dogs, I didn't believe her. Because I had a very intense fear. Like every time I would get around dogs, other than my puppy, the first one when I, when I was 18, the one I fell in love with. Other than her, I, I, I didn't have that problem with her. But with other dogs, even when I was in my 30s, I, for some reason, every time I got around a dog, I would see them biting me. Even though they didn't bite me, I in my mind, I could see them trying to bite me, like getting in my face, biting me, right? And, um, but of course, you know, I raised that dog. I got another puppy and, you know, slowly as the years has gone by, I'm, I'm now I'm good with dogs. I'm okay. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm nervous around other people's dogs, dogs I don't know. Of course, naturally, right? You want to be cautious, but I don't have that uh, paralyzing fear like I used to. She told me I was going to have a dog. I was going to have dogs. And guess what? I have dogs now. You know, but at the, at the time when I was 17, when she gave me that reading, I just looked at her like, oh, wow, lady, you're like way off. <laughs> you're like way, way off. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, that kind of thing. Um, something that this reader said is something like that. Okay. It's something that you just feel like is so way off. Uh, you know, it's unbelievable. You know, it's, it can't be true. You know, like that kind of energy, right? Spirit is saying this person is speaking the truth, okay? This, this is truth. This reader 
you might have gotten a, a personal reading and you're like oh you know or maybe this person um maybe there's something in your life that you wanted to find out about or there was a, a very big event in your life or something like that that this reader didn't pick up on it still doesn't mean that it was not your reading okay so just remember that Maybe there's something going on in your personal life and you're and you expected her to pick up on it in the reading. You know, it, unless unless you asked her about it, she's you know, she she might have seen something but just, you know, uh overlooked it. You know, sometimes I do that in readings too. Like I'll see something and I'm like, okay, that's insignificant. That's what I'm thinking it's insignificant. But for you, something that this reader saw might she might have thought or he might have thought it was insignificant it wasn't it wasn't significant enough to bring it up basically okay that's what i'm trying to say so you might be uh you know feeling like that reading wasn't for you but it actually is okay but is there anything else here that aries needs to know so do consider what that reader said okay that's what i'm hearing do consider what that reader said Is there anything else here for message for Aries? Please and thank you. Because if you do, you're going to be happy. Okay, so there's something, there's some kind of advice that that reader told you, something like that. You're going to be very happy with it. Okay, I'm seeing you uh, feeling very blessed here. Okay, especially with the Ten of Cups coming out. Very blessed, very happy. Okay. Ooh, this came out backwards. Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, the World in Reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. You might not be feeling it, though, and you might feel like this is not your path. It might actually be something about you um, working alone. It might be about a project. I mean, it, it could be about a lot of things, but... What I'm getting is that this could be about a, a career choice, a career path. Uh, it could be about about a broken partnership, somebody going their own ways, okay? Yeah, like a, like a, a breakup or something or somebody going their own way. Okay, that's what I'm getting, so. Like, uh, maybe they told you that somebody's not always going to be around, right? Uh, it's giving me the vibe like, um, maybe this person told you that the person you're with is not the one for you. You're going to be with somebody else and you're thinking, oh, no, this person is perfect for me. We've been together for, you know, 30 years and that person's not going nowhere. And you know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. It might have something to do with this, but... I am feeling like you are going to be happy with the outcome, okay? I'm going to get some more information about the world card, okay? Because I am kind of wondering about that. Um, hmm. Because this, this reader might have said something to you. Yeah, about a relationship like, uh, you know, it's not going to work out or something. Or you might feel like something they told you is something that you don't want to waste your time on. Okay, something like that. So can, let me shuffle. I'm looking at the cards. I'm, I'm comparing them real quick, guys. I'm not comparing them, but I'm, I'm, uh, never mind. Let me just keep going. So tell me more about the world card. Why is it in reverse? The, the world card is being verified by the world card and justice. Okay. So... It might not be exactly, um, how do I say this? It might not be exactly what you want it to hear, right? 
but I feel like um you might feel like what they told you like you're not gonna have success in it okay and you might be feeling like you know you don't want to waste your time uh, putting uh, putting in a lot of time into something right because this might be something that you're not really sure that you even want okay uh, like you might not even be positive that this is something that you even want in your life so why would you put so much effort into it that kind of energy you know but spirit is saying if you go for it you're gonna be happy I'm going to see what's going on with the Ten of Cups, okay? Because I'm seeing you being happy, so. Spirit, tell me more about the Ten of Cups, please. Yeah, this is verification, Aries. You're going to be happy. So it's going to be something that, you know, you never thought you would be doing. Something that is going to be totally new to you, okay? But it's it's going to be something that um I get it, you know? Like I said. It's going to be one of those things that you just never thought that you'd be doing. Hmm. Maybe because you just don't believe that you're that special. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Give me one second. I'm sorry. I think you're going to be very happy here. It's going to be a dream. Okay? It's going to be a dream. It's going to be something that... It is going to be something that's going to fulfill a dream for you. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this reading, guys. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> I don't know if this is my allergies or what. I feel like it is. Um. Anyways, thank you for joining me. I do hope I said something that was helpful. Uh. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Catch me in the next one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.